Imagine waiting to see your favorite wrestlers duke it out at a premier event like WrestleMania. Or El Clasico, another amazing showdown between Danger Messi and Christopher Ronaldo. Now imagine instead of watching these legends, your entertainment is a Farfa subscriber versus a Farfa viewer. It's like a Roman Colosseum, but instead of two gladiators, it's one Farfa viewer holding a fork versus an electrical outlet. Speaking of Colosseums, Farfa medical students be like, I'd rather study medicine than know the ruling for Kaiser Colosseum. The community who spawns such poetry as, I feel like Farfa is a human Nibiru token. What did he mean by this? Or, Jester confit this <laughs> kid your- <laughs> okay. okay, that's pretty good. I grabbed two people from my live stream impromptu, which you can watch daily at 2pm UK Monday and Wednesday to Saturday, in a duel to the death. death. Not quite literally, but the loser would receive a ban from my Twitch channel. Finally, sweet release. And the winner would receive a gifted sub from their opponent. Can we find the literal worst player in the world? Got back into Yu-Gi-Oh after a break and I'm now now playing Dragon Maids, life is good in silver. Actually, kinda based. Here is what happened. We picked two random people, volunteered as tribute from the chat. Let's see what we got. We got a Vassion versus Bubble here, both on 40, 40, and 15 in the extra deck. Wow, the non-sub. Mr. Avasion out here playing Yang Zing. Uh, maybe not Menadium, I guess we'll see. He's playing Starfrost. Okay, there's a Phobia here. Let's see what this guy can end on. No disruptions from Bubble. Adds a copy of Reichhardt from deck to the hand here. Was he trolling about being bronze? If Asion is a plat 4 duelist and Bubble is a plat 2. Hey, you lied. You said you were bronze. All right, two, p two plat Farfa viewers. <laughs> that just sounds funny, doesn't it? All right. <laughs> two plat Farfa viewers. Okay, cross sheep. Uh, Denglong triggering now here. I beat Elden Ring again. Can you hurry up and beat the game, uh, Madge? Uh, yeah, sure. BRB. Loading into the Bixie off of the Dang Dang. Ding Ding Dong. Highest viewer far for rank. Uh, we're arriving back to Starfrost and special summoning Lightheart here. Two plat Farfa viewers walk into a bar. Okay, nice. Synchro summon Chi Shao. That's kind of cool. Uh, add or banish a sword soul. I guess we just get blackout surely. Oh, getting long one. Okay. All right, long one effect discarding Chai Wen, and get a special summon into a. Uh, I don't think you're worm locked or anything. No siree. We can just make a Baroni the Flory here. We are gonna make Baron the Floor. Burn for damage, and now it's time to go for Astraloud. I feel like all you've really done is do a Manadium board with, like, some bricks and get a Chi Uh, what did you search with Denglong? Nine Pillars. Okay, how do we turn on Nine Pillars? Does it tribute a Yangzing or, like, any worm? Um... Has to be Yangzing. Okay, so that's why we're reviving back the Jaltu. Unless we go, like, Pater here. Okay, we're gonna go two, three... What does that make? Sprite Elf? Okay, we can bring back a level 2 here. We're gonna bring back the Bixie. So that's gonna be our Yang Zing target for the 9 pillars, and then this is probably gonna make an 8. Oh, wait, there's more! Hold! Let this man perform some, uh, cookage. We're gonna Baron pop our own Yang Zing and special summon a Sawani. Are we gonna make Dispater next? Oh, we're gonna make a six here. What is he summoning? Trisukta. Okay. Gonna bring back the Chinner. Bring back the Jaltu. This Jaltu's been summoned like three times this game. <laughs> this turn. Amritara. Amritara effect. Gonna add a spell and trap. Reframing. We're going for reframing. Oh. Aha. <laughs> More Zulkin contact synchro or something. Send to special summon. Amritara's a tuner. Oh, <laughs> crystal wing. So where are you getting the Yangzing though? I guess you're just summoning it off of Elf, right? Set four. Jesus. All right, Bubble. If you win this, I will personally fucking gift you a sub for the next year. Like, good luck. Crystal wing negate. Baron the floor omni negate. Chi Shao monster negate. Elf protection. Reframing Omni Negate. Yeah, Nine Pillars Omni Negate. All right. 
We're starting off with Prosperity, digging deep here. Let this resolve just so we can see what he's playing. Like, I'm just curious, like, what's in here. Go on, you wouldn't, you wouldn't just let him resolve. Okay, okay, all right. So, uh, what do we think? Uh, thrust talents? Something like that, maybe? Immediately going to chain the elf here to uh, turn on that nine pillars of the Yang Zing. All right, brings back Jal to here. So we've got another. We got. So we still got two Omni negates to fight through here. Uh, and it's funny because they, you can't even like Dark Cruel of them. It's like you'd have to go like Lightning Storm, Lightning Storm, evenly matched, summon nut Snake Ash or something. <laughs> oh my God! He's playing Malefic. Bro, they didn't stop the chance. <laughs> Why are you negating that card? <laughs> Why are you negating that? Oh, another one! Oh, okay. All right, hold. Hold. Hold your fucking horses. Hang on a goddamn second here. That's the good one. What do we think? You're not going to use all of your negates on malefic cards, are you, surely? Let's it go through. We're activating malefic world. What does this thing even do? Um, Instead of your normal draw, reveal three malefics, and then your opponent adds one. What the fuck? Doesn't do anything. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I guess it turns on your malefic summoning conditions. I guess. So, uh, I don't know. What are you gonna do here? Special summon malefic cyber end or something? Okay, we got parallel gear. I, I can't even believe we're bothering to normal summon this. What does this do? It doesn't do anything. Huh? What just happened? Whoa! <laughs> That's a jump scare. <laughs> Wait, he's got nothing for this. Wait, how are you outing this? You're not dead, are you? It's like 32 damage, right? All right, we're gonna we're gonna punch the sprite elf here. Okay, we live. We actually, I mean, you did something. <laughs> no, pass down. You can just punch this, right? Oh no. <laughs> you know what? Honestly, you put in a fucking fight here, dude. Oh, seven bubble has been eliminated. The non-subscribers are uh, one and oh. All right, congratulations. All right, dude. Okay, buddy. You're uh, you're not making the Farfa subscribers look too good, huh? You're not making Team Farfa subs look too interesting right now. I don't think this is the combo, guys. Okay. Uh, do a little Chimera. I'm gonna summon out the princess. Princess, bring back the little Chimera. <laughs> I'm Blue Whale. <laughs> Giga Chad, Hazy Flame Hydra. Oh no, Valance! Wait, are you dead? Oh god, is he dead? <laughs> Wait, just out of the field spell, by the way. It's just even worse than I thought it was. You can't even summon the Flamberge anymore. <laughs> Holy shit, that's like the best two-card co combo, isn't it? Oh wait, no, no, no. This is not the girl. The girl's the best starter, I think, right? Alright, does he have it though? Let's see. Alright, we gotta activate the field spell. Place this thing up here. Yeah, we can do it. Oh, we rolled a three here. What does this do? Excavate three here, and then... Like, did it negate or something? Oh, just adds? Okay, sure. Electromite! Uh, the sub is the Hazy Flame player, of course. Alright, on Summon of Electromite, we're gonna pop Doolittle Chimera. Or oh, we're all popping Amblo Whale. Okay, sure. Uh, Doolittle Chimera is destroyed. We pop the Electromite. We send... What can we do from here? Ooh, Doolittle also is like a Hita, kind of. Recycle a uh, Fire Monster from the graveyards here. We're gonna add Poplar. And then immediately trigger it. It's gonna give us some follow-up here. Maybe that's the tech. You play Doolittle instead of uh, instead of things. Um, small world. Gizmek Okami, the dreaded deluge dragon. To add the girl, there she is, Shinonomi. She's the uh, she's the good one. Shinonomi here. Special summons herself, and then adds a Valence spell from deck to the hand here. We're getting the uh, solo activation. 
place a valence monster from deck into the pen zone. But wait, there's more. Nazuki. Special summon itself here. Target other monster, move it to an adjacent zone. Move her. And then if this card is uh, moves, add a Valance card. Oh boy. Here's Dominator Duke. All right. So despite having our Electromite popped, the zones can still be uh, put on the field here from beyond the pendulum. Going to add a Buster Baron. All right. We've got a uh, Dreamia activated in the scale here. I'm to pen summon everything between level two and six. Palom. Ein. Zwei. Dry. Just two. All right. And we get to pop two cards here, by the way. Just saying. Just saying. How are we outing this Amblo Whale? It will be floating. God, it's a damn shame we can't do anything with our Hazy Flame Hydra. <laughs> All right, we're popping... Was that Pri Witch you targeted? You targeted Princess. All right, we get to pop Princess? Why do we target that? Your opponent cannot target this with card effects. Yo! <laughs> Hazy Flame Hydra putting in the work here, dude. All right, uh, scaling the Doolittle Chimera. We're going to activate the uh, Viscount here, which puts this there. Then we're going to use the field spell to summon it. Tribute, contact fuse or whatever somehow into a uh, Grand Duke here. Grand Duke effect. Oh my god. Burns for 3,000 by returning a monster card in your opponent's spell and trap zone. <laughs> That's so funny. Because they were the one who scaled the Flamberge for you. <laughs> That's really hilarious. Oh wait, there's more. What the fuck is that? Bicycle ass head. Chronochasm Valance. Switch the locations of two of your monsters. Place a Valance pen from your extra deck in your pen zone. Oh, what is this guy's pen effect? Special this. Or move a monster. Oh, we can just summon it back and do it again. Like summon unicorn, really? <laughs> just good old vanilla unicorn. You love to see it. All right. Uh, discard spinning the Amblo Whale so we can't trigger the effect here. Activate the Grand Duke. Grand Duke special summoning himself. Effect on summon, target a scaled monster, burn for 25. <laughs> and, uh, well, we, we just got a swing at this point, right? Oh, wait, there's more. Apoloza, yeah, okay, cool. We can play around hand traps or whatever if necessary. Battle phase. Grand Duke attack over the Hazy Flame Hydra. And Apoloza for game. Barfa subscribers suck! <laughs> non-sub Reggie is a master one duelist versus I bo both master ones I didn't know people in the Farfa uh, twitch chat were this good at the game but we're, we're summoning Trubini so we can't be that good oh now that's a card I love to see special sub and gra okay a phantom knight duelist we have a bit of a phantom knighter here oh bibiru Babiru. That's very confident to play Babiru in this style of uh, tournament, by the way. Tournament, whatever you want to call it. Oh, we did normal summon, to be fair. Oh, she. Oh, we're drawing, though. Ooh, we need to draw cards. Uh-oh. Discard gloves. Send cloak. Cloak, get boots. Um, You know what? F boot, cloak, and uh, horn scale. They're like... They're like um, they're... My brother in Christ, there's no way. Are you FTKing your opponent through Nibiru? What the fuck is this? Heroic challenger at heroic... Co what are you doing? No, what are you doing? You got nibbed. Like, you're gonna lose. Like, what do you mean? How are you winning through Nibiru? <laughs> uh, what the hell is that? Renaud target the um, arabesque, I think that is. Yeah, okay. All right, we've got Makanko equips in here. Activate the equip. Uh, summon out Hare, bounce Renaud. Get the Makanko spell Fire Dance here. All right, normal summon Renaud. No, special summon into Cupid Pitch. I'm gonna pitch and increase the level. Bring back Hare. Set to reveal the Jackalope. You are playing Yu-Gi-Oh today. All right, we miss on the Jackalope. That's okay. We got the, the what's it called here? There is Savage Dragon. Okay, I don't think it's an FTK. Um, pretty sure of that. So what do you do? You use the Phantom Knights to get into like Bardish, bait your opponent into stuff, and then that ends on two warriors. Then you just go Isolde, I guess is what your deck does. Oh, a fun card, I see. <laughs> ah, <laughs> okay. Is that a Fog Blade? No, Shade Brigadine. There's, but wait, there's more. Oh, we get to trigger the Torrent Scale here as well. Special summoning out the Bur Burgundine here. Special summon the Corridor. That's a level four, I guess. Maybe, are we making Colossus or are we making a four? 
We are making oh. a heroic call, bringing back a Zolde. Linking away for more here into A+. Plus. Ah, it's not a boneless build -a board deck here. Okay, all right, let's see if Reggie can do this here. That's a weird griffin, by the way. Normal summon Meek, Vice has Starfrost, Pop Meek. Reggie, are you just playing Monadium? <laughs> oh, you know what? You deserve to lose. Can one subscriber win a game of Yu-Gi-Oh! today, please, by the way? You guys are awful. <laughs> Cosmetic Savage? Wait, what do you mean, Cosmetic Savage? Wow, we're fog blading the Meek. Oh, the Nibiru, I guess. Yeah, because we just attack over, I suppose. Um, all right. As Jover, dude. He heroes. He hero. Oh my! A plasma dark law pass. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This is what this is what we're getting from the non-subscriber community. Heroes, bat chest. God, I said Farfa subs, not MBD subs. <laughs> Here, send the Dark Panther set to pass turn, and it's time to use favorite contact, bat chest, recycling all of the Neo Spatian monsters to summon out Elemental Hero Cosmo Neos, activating the effect, meaning that your opponent cannot activate card effects this turn. Um, at least, like, like not from the hand or something. You can still use them from the hand. Your opponent cannot activate cards, and your opponent can't, uh, cards your opponent just can't activate their effects, but you can still use cards in the hand here, which apparently is a lot of fucking cards, by the way. Like, still playing the game here, okay. Alright, grave effects and hand effects still work, by the way. So, uh, you know, th this is something. I'm gonna special summon out the deck here, Redbeard. Get a card set and pass, and now we go to the end phase. His effect wears off, and we have managed to make a full plunder board, kind of, uh, through all of that here. Let's see if we can survive. Uh, Wonder Driver activating the Blackbeard here. Gonna go and uh, summon out a Dark, maybe? Yep, we're gonna go and go for a Merc, and also draw a card. And we're gonna banish online here. See if Madness can do something about that. Oh, is this end of main phase or something? Oh, looks like we're just gonna do it immediately here, discarding the Bluebeard, banishing the Infernal Dece- Sorry, the Wonder Driver. And we get to add a spell, I think, from the deck here. Yep, add the field spell, Royal. All right. Activating the Bluebeard now, gonna activate the- This uh, special summons by discarding Dark Ruler no more <laughs> in the main deck. Interesting. Um, drawing a card here. Redbeard as well on the opponent's turn, getting to fuse. Uh, sorry, caught, like, just, well, special summon, I suppose. Gonna make Lice here the uh, monster negate, I guess. Or Omni negate? I think it's an Omni negate. No, monster, monster negate. Uh, Miracle fusion time. Bat! We're gonna summon Ab Zero. Activate the Liquid Soldier in the banish pile. Draw two. Discarding a hero lives. Uh, we got Cross Crusader here, plus the Sunrise forming up a chain here. Ab Zero gonna trigger to destroy everything. Oh my god, you chain block the Ab Zero. All right, I guess we're gonna have to do uh, something here to try and live. We're gonna use Lice's effect to discard, negate the uh, what's it called? Oh wow, Ash Blossom. That's Loki Solemn Strike against Wonder Patrol, because all of your negates and effects also add on resolution, so it's technically Ashable. Yep, that is something. Ab Zero clears the entire field, destroying everything and anything. We're gonna tribute the malicious now, and I think that's gonna be the end of the game here. Yes, a valiant effort, nonetheless, though. Not one subscriber has won, by the way. Just saying, like this is <laughs> dreadful, it's actually disastrous. Like not one subscriber has won here. It's really sad. <laughs> It's Jover! Oh, this is so sad. All right, zero and four. Good job, guys. Well done, you're, you're really showing me up here. All right, surely, okay, this is the this is the last straw. This is the last, the, the final boss monster now. Um, if Quanto can't win, then we just give up on my community. I just delete the channel, wrap it up. Uh, Quanto has won the dice roll and is playing Crawler. Even world champions have pet decks, huh? <laughs> All right. Whoa! -ho -ho -ho! Crawling in my skin. 
Uh, Fen's gonna start off with the Jackalope here, discarding. Oh, we're playing Dark World. All right, okay. I just, it's so unbelievable that Dark World hasn't been a meta deck yet to me. Oh! <laughs> oh my god, discard brow. Nice, let's go. All right, we got the gates of Dark World. Activate, banish a fiend here, discarding gold. Kind of like your rating probably, right? Oh, Master 1! How are we? <laughs> Master 1! Okay, impressive. He's a star uh, we've got the uh, Nessie searching out the Mothman. Mothman, don't miss. Take the wheel. Okay, we hit Rainbow. That's insane. Gonna search for... Are we getting Graffa now? We are. Okay, we're gonna start popping and locking soon. Uh, bouncing to recur some hand advantage. Ooh, reincarnation, discard Graffa. Add the illusion of chaos we milled with Dante. That is so funny. Oh my god. Okay, see, Dante is a good monster still in 2024. I told you. Look at this. Especially some of the magician souls here. And what are we gonna send? We're we gonna send stuff from our hand. I call by the grave and the field spell. Ooh, solemn strike. You've been holding solemn strike this whole time? Why didn't you strike the Dante? It's the best card. Ah, uh, the misplay, I guess. I don't know. All right, special summon out Graffa here. Battle phase. <gasps> Quaking Mirror Force! <laughs> Crawler classic right there. <laughs> All right, we can wait. We can set and pass. Quaking is a permanent Book of Moon, by the way. So, uh... oh God, what are we doing? Oh, we're tribute summoning Dark World monsters. <laughs> this is a cursed duel here. All right. And attack again. This is 48 damage. We're gonna eat all of it. All right. Uh, end phase. Anything from the crawlers? Nothing yet. Okay. We need some crawlers. We need to. We need. We need some. We need soma or something. That's a big draw. Pot of extravagance. Draw two cards. Set one. Okay. All right. Five back row. Still not doing anything though. And uh, we're live. All right. This is a long turn. Turn set. Grass for 18. Or, th or, or, or 13. I can't count. My math is, you know, you know, you know uh, UK education. All right. Top deck and grass here. Let's see if we can crawl our way out of this one. <laughs> uh, we're just going to go straight to the battle phase. Attack for game for Mothman. Starbig! <laughs> is this just a Mirror Force deck? All right. Uh, well, we got lots of a hand advantage now, at least. So uh, this Mothman will surely not miss. Return danger to the hand never feels good. Well, he was going to die, so. Oh, that's a Steam the Cuck. Cloak. Sorry, my Duel Links days are retired, you know. Oh, we are going for Rainbow Bounce. What are we doing main phase two? Our EMZ is locked, which is like the annoying thing. <laughs> like, there was no reason for you to put that Dante in the EMZ, by the way. <laughs> like, was it just a flex? Like, why did we put that there? <laughs> also, it just dawned on me. You're playing like 60 card Dark World? Why? <laughs> oh boy, we got the fusion spell. Accession. Can we fuse Dante? He's not a fiend, is he? Oh, that's uh, that's got, like annoying our uh, our our EMZ right now. I'm not gonna lie. Using up into Garafa, Dragon Overlord of Dark World. Brow gets a draw as well, which is pretty good. Overlay the force here. We're gonna go for a Duger Ass. Are we drawing and discarding? Are we reborning? Probably drawing here. I don't know. I need to like think like what I need to do about my Wednesday streams. Maybe I just have to start my Wednesday streams earlier. Because I, wa I, I, I want to put in like five hours minimum per stream. Uh, four or five hours, you know. Uh, and I feel like I have to kind of cut short on the uh, on the Wednesday. Because if I, if, I, if I go to locals. Maybe I'll just like start my Wednesday streams like an hour earlier. See how that goes. Alright, we are drawing and discarding. Alright, special summoning out here. The rainbow. What the hell is that? Magicians of Bonds and Unity must be special by having 25 or more cards in your graveyard. While your opponent has 25 or more cards in their graveyard, this gains 25. Oh! <laughs> oh my god, no! No! You have a strike back there, don't you? Wait, do we have a way to stop this, Grafa? Yes, you do. Oh my god! <laughs> uh, so you, you've been playing 25th century, uh, 25th uh, anniversary Yu-Gi-Oh deck, right? That's, that's, that's the gimmick. That's very funny. Heck, my field! Like how Dante still gets to chill there, by the way, after uh, this whole time. Alright, so we're gonna Babiru our opponent here and give them probably the biggest, thickest, dickest token I've ever seen. Actually, it's not that bad, to be fair. 
Um, we're going to trigger the Grapha, which I think special summons another Grapha. And the Cloak here. Oh my god, goes in match. A Crawler Classic. Uh, this, okay. <laughs> This is going to be a, like a 30 minute duel at this point. You're both locked from your attributes now. Oh my god, this duel is actually just gonna be 20 minutes. Oh god, they're both locked. By the way, this is Quantel's fun deck. Goes and crawlers. <laughs> Man, what do these world champions get up to for fun? They're like drawing cards with like runics or they're like flipping floodgates. Like what are they doing? All right, we're gonna put the token in attack mode and pass turn. We're not attacking, though. We're not attacking, though. Let's see the deck count here. All right, looks like Quantel's going to deck out last. So, um, you might want to start advancing that game state of yours at some point, sir. Okay, tribute sets over the Dante. Does Dante target itself? It can't, right? You'd think I'd know this, right? All right, tribute setting. Are we going to tribute set again over the Primal Being token at some point? Wait a minute, why didn't you tribute set over the Primal Being token? Then you could summon Dark Monsters. Maybe you can summon Dark Monsters because you've used all of your resources, admittedly. It's been a while. All right, Quantal setting uh, the fourth Mirror Force, I guess. Mirror Force, remember? What do, you, no, what do you mean, remember? Yeah, he's playing Mirror Force. What are you going to do? Like, just never attack? What's the strategy? <laughs> like, I will never attack you, okay? <laughs> um, He did grass for no reason in Dark World. What do you mean, no reason? Hello? Have you read uh, Quarter uh, Magicians of Bonds and Unity? Special summon when you have 25 cards in the grave. Draw pass. Waiting for Duster. Is Quantum going to end this doing like 100 life points from like Solemn Judgment? Okay, we're using Accession now. Which is add back from the grave to discard. Guarding Snow for the search. Do you still want to do that? Okay, alright. We don't care about the... Uh... The deck thinning, I guess, at this point. We're, we're hard committing here. It's getting windy outside. Tribute set, rainbow. And now it's time to activate Gallus the Star Beast. Wait, he's just going to burn him to death. Unless he hits a spell. Hold. <laughs> Gotta do something here, Quantal. No! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Farfa viewers win one duel. Challenge impossible. <laughs>